What up boys and welcome back to another video. So as always, every single Sunday we're gonna upload a video on uh, like my stockpile, right? So this time video is recorded on Sunday going live on a Monday, but it's the same thing, right? So we take a look at my mailbox, we'll see how much golds I've made in sales of my stockpile auctions because as always, if I can sell the items I find for a good value right now, I'll sell it right now because that's the whole purpose of doing the BFA stockpile that you're not going to be in a rush selling the items. You're going to hold on and wait until they go up in value. So we've made so far like 3.9 million gold just by selling uh, the items we farmed intended to stockpile in BFA. So uh, we're going to go through the mailbox. We're going to take a look at the items that I've stockpiled and that's pretty much it. We're going to also see the overall stockpile that I have right now. So the items that I do have this week is right here. And I farmed a lot more than what's currently in my bags right now. We just sold a lot of it. So we did an hour of Savage Leather, like the Crocodile Farms, right here. We did two hours of Savage Cup farming to get these, like, just to expand the amount of, uh, well, the different uh, battle vests that we have. So we're going to try and get a bag full of Savage Cups before BFA. We did a lot of... Frost with cloth and ember silk. I've sold so much ember silk that you guys can take a look at in the mailbox later on. An hour of volatile water. The rest of these volatiles are just from uh, farming ember silk. And we've got gnomish dice, did an hour of that, did an hour of primal life and an hour of primal fire. And the rest of the farms that we did, we were super lucky on some farms. I had a whole day where I tried to do RNG farms and I didn't get any items at all. Like all battle feds, no drops. So uh, going through the mailbox, you guys can see a lot of purites from farming ember silk, a lot of ember silk. I sold some of the corium, dark rune sold as always, frost weave cloth, coriums again. So we got 157 sold auctions this week, 245,000 gold on the first 50 auctions. So we're way past 4 million gold already. And uh, as I said in the previous video too, I had no clue that I was going to make millions before beef I hit. So, uh, like, I'm going to take that to me and start thinking more like I'm thinking now that I don't necessarily need to sell items right off the bat if the value isn't that good, right? I can just hold on to it and sell it later on. So, next 50 auctions, 282,000 gold. That's also really good. More Ember Silk. Sold some Primals right here and uh, sold... Porcupine Tomb, Seal Tomb of Lost Legion, Seal Tomb of Lost Legion. I fucked up on the Primal Mana, sold them for 100 gold each, which means that I only made like 22,000 gold of farming Primal Mana that hour. We sold Emerald Whelpling, more Corium, this time for a way better price, 100 and, uh, I mean 1.9k each bar. Sold some toys, Golden Pearls, they sold another Polar Bear Tomb, and a uh, Disgusting Oosling. Dark Welpling, Emerald Welpling again. But 282,000 gold from that clean out. We're making, uh, definitely making more gold from materials, battle pets and all that, and class specific items than we do with Transmog these days. But then again, we don't focus on Transmog that much anymore. But right now sitting at 4.4 million, made over half a million of gold. And these are the last, auction, not the last auctions even, but the next 50 auctions, 154,000 gold. Sold all the toys, same buyer probably. Disgusting Oosling again. Bronze Whelpling, Sprite Dart Rashling for 50,000 gold. Double Dark Whelpling. So you guys can see I sell a lot of battle pets. The value is not necessarily always that good, but you can farm them so efficiently in a five man group that the gold per hour turns out to be pretty damn good. So a lot of Spirit of Harmony too. And a Hatchling pet, 10k. A lot of Pure Ride Over again. So uh, we made like 700k so far this week alone on these. And uh, we still have a lot of items that I didn't post. A lot of the items that I did farm this week is on the auction house right now. So last seven auctions. Can't be that much gold. It's only seven auctions. I don't have that many big ticket items up on this bank. Oh shit. Actually 44,000 gold. So the Vicious Horror, the Battle Master. Dark Welpling, and uh, yeah, but 4.6 million gold right now. So we did make right above 700,000 gold this week. And uh, now time to take a look at 
the total stockpile is pretty much as it was before, uh, well, I mean, last week. The only difference is that I've started to get these Savage Cubs right now. But the amount of wealth blinks is uh, the same. It's actually less because I've sold some. Same with the dice. And in terms of primal, it is definitely worse because I've sold a lot of my primals. Definitely more primal life, but I sold so many uh, primal mana that I got close to nothing left. Let me see, put this one, this into my bags right here. So pure right, got to make this into bars, make a profit on it. There we go. So now it's time to take a look at the volatiles. Haven't really sold any volatiles though. So that's got to count for something. The volatile water, it's not looking so good. I've been kind of slacking on volatiles. I should have done it way more, especially with the value of Ember Silk going up. But uh, just, I don't find volatiles to be a super exciting farm. I actually like primals more because primals have that small chance of giving you like a world drop plan or pattern such as Felsteel. Volatile Fire is slightly better, but still not good. I should get like a full vault of uh, Willful Bank Tab full of each. And uh, that is pretty much it. So if you guys got any questions, as always, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. And I will do my best to answer every single one of them. And until next time, chat, bye bye.